All right, today's Friday, February 22nd, 2019. It's about 8 o'clock at night, and I wanted to do a quick little video here. I just put the flywheel on. Uh, I actually set this thing back down on the frame um, so that I can torque it down because it's kind of awkward to try and torque it while it's on this hoist. So I just dropped it on there on the frame real quick, crawled under there and torqued these things down, put some Loctite on them. I torqued them down to 65 foot-pounds. That's what I read supposed to be. That's a 153 tooth flywheel cover. It came off the 283 so I just reused it. I didn't buy a new one but it looks like it's it's gonna make good with the starter. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, man it's like 100% humidity out here. Uh, I mean that's crazy. See the intake is moist and the block is everything is everything is sweating in here and that's a problem that I struggle with in this shop I didn't insulate it and where I live it's just so humid uh, but that's just something you gotta deal with so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mate it up got the 350 uh, got the torque converter on there I'm gonna double check make sure it's seated made it up real quick and uh, might try and stab this thing in uh, tonight so stay tuned all right, today's Saturday, February 23rd, uh, 2019, uh, and last night I stabbed this motor transmission assembly in. Uh, got kind of late, so I didn't make a video last night, but um, it went pretty smooth. What I did first was uh, I, I bolted the transmission, I mean, I'm sorry, the motor only uh, to the motor mounts, and then I got under there and I torqued down the, the flywheel. And then I pulled it back out and then put the torque converter on the transmission and then I mated them together. Uh, I torqued the transmission bolts, the bell housing bolts, and then uh, took the distributor cap off and then slung this thing in there and it went, it went pretty smooth. I mean, I didn't really have any hiccups, uh, just took a little bit of finessing. Uh, when it came time to put the bolts in. Um, I had to take the fuel pump off again, as you can see, so that I can hammer that one, the passenger side motor mount bolt. It's just the third time I've taken that fuel pump off. So now I gotta go get another gasket. <clears throat> uh, the driver's side motor mount went in pretty easy, just went in by hand, lined up good. Um, before I stabbed it in, I did run, I did run my vacuum uh, to the transmission. Uh, I, uh, whatever it does, shift, helps the shift. Uh, so I used brake line and then uh, hose clamps on the end of the transmission and then the brake line, you know, I bent it up to uh, to right here and then hose clamp. I'm, I'm not sure it even needs a hose clamp really, but I put one on anyways to right there. And then this one's going to go to the brake booster. <clears throat> uh, the carburetor's just sitting on there. As you can see, it's super humid out here still. I don't know what's going on with this weather, but... I really don't like it. I really don't like that the car sits in this condition because moisture is not good, but uh, can't really do anything about it. I mean, outside it's like it rained, but it didn't even rain. So, kind of stuck. But, uh, so this is done. Something's funky going on with the, with the drive shaft. Um, right now the drive shaft only has two pieces and the, the end that would go to the third piece for the uh, for the that that uh, mates to the transmission yoke. That piece is already at the transmission yoke, so there's no room for another third piece. So that's strange because last 350 I used in an Impala, it it was a direct replacement with the drive shaft and everything. So something's weird going on. I got to figure it out. Might have to modify the drive shaft. Um, but the big thing is that this is done. I can I can put my engine uh, little engine stand back. I can put my little transmission dolly back. I can put my engine hoist back. Start start making room. Um, and and this thing is you know looking a lot better. I got to figure out the uh, kick down cable. But the main thing is I wanted to get this assembly in there and out of the way. And and start moving on. So I think my next plan is uh, 
tomorrow. I think it's supposed to clear out. It's supposed to be a cold front tonight or something. It's supposed to clear out, so there's not going to be no humidity tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm going to paint the steering column and uh, the AC vents. And I'll, I'll bolt the brake booster on. Start messing with the wiper motor. Just clean up stuff, whatever bolts to the firewall. I got to put the accelerator uh, pedal, gas pedal, back in the firewall. You see the holes right there. Um, figure that out. The linkage. Just kind of tinker with stuff, uh, you know, uh, on the motor. But I'm going to do all that. Uh, actually, I want to get this thing started with the radiator on. I got to buy a radiator. Uh, I got to clean out the gas tank. Got to install that. Uh, I got gas tank straps. So I, I basically, and then the wire, I basically want to get this thing running before I put the fenders on. And uh, that way, I mean, you know, the last thing you put on is the hood. That's the absolute last. But I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to paint the wheel, the wheel wells, the inner wheel wells, um, the inside of them. I'm going to paint those to match, and I'm going to leave the undersides black because I'm thinking it might be too much black under the hood with the black wheel wells and everything powder coated black. And I think I'm going to break it up a little bit with the with the blue. I got I got paint still. I got base, <clears throat> and uh, kind of break it up a little bit and see what happens. Uh, but that's the plan. I think this weekend I'm going to paint the steering column. It's bare metal, so I got to get that in epoxy. Hopefully, it hadn't rusted sitting out here, but I doubt it. Uh, then I could hook up the steering linkage to the gearbox and all that. Uh, hook up the hoses. Uh, then I could put fluid in and tighten the belt. Just a lot of a lot of odds and ends. I have to make a, a long list of things to do, but that's the gist of it. Um, so the motor transmission are in. Didn't really nick the firewall. I did nick it just a hair behind the distributor cap, which you can't see now. But no major damage to report. Everything worked out good. Um, didn't take long. Pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. Not not a whole lot to it. Um, so that I'm, I'm two days ahead on my schedule on that because I was planning to do that Sunday. But I was sitting out here last night and kind of one thing led to another, and I found myself underneath the car. Uh, you know, tightening down the bolting down the transmission, so that was good. <clears throat> so, stay tuned for more updates, and uh, thanks for watching.